What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Lendaris. You already know. l and Line Service, baby. Kansas City, Missouri. Blue Springs area. Back at you. Guys, I'm out here. It's cold out here today. It's Sunday. It's cold. Hey, one more week to the Super Bowl, though, right? Yeah. Go Kansas City Chiefs. Bring us another one home. Keep putting us on the map. Putting us on the map, baby. Anyway, um, I'm out here checking out my cargo carrier. Yes, I brought a cargo carrier. All right, guys, this was my situation. So I'm rolling with the I'm rolling with the ramp rack this year. I'm gonna see how that how that goes for the season. Okay, another thing, I got my son working for me full time this year. So that's gonna free me up a little bit. I'm gonna be with him for a little bit, show him, you know, get the, get it going. Uh, he's been with me before, but uh, uh, I got him to convince them, hey, roll with me this year for the whole season. You won't be disappointed. Just do it. Just do it. Just 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 see how it goes. He said yes. So, hallelujah. I, I'm so excited because that frees me up. I'm, I'm time limited. You can only do so much. Uh, plus, my other job, I'm working. Uh, I'm trying to do this too. Now, don't sit here and say, oh, I'm doing this part time. I ain't doing this part time. I'm I'm going full time, baby. I'm not full time, full time where this is like my only job, my only career. But it's still full time. I'm putting in just as many hours doing this lawn care stuff than I'm doing um, uh, at my other job. And this is more uh, manual. This is more labor intense, you know. So I'm putting big wear and tear on my body doing the lawn care stuff this ain't no punk stuff this is not no punk stuff this is ain't this ain't for the 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 whimpering whimpering like type guys out there that can't have sunlight on them they're too hot uh, i can't do this I, it's hard work guys you guys know what it is. You got to be out here and you got to deal with customers and you got to deal with the pressure of trying to bring in some business and make the money. You can't be no low baller. Don't be a low baller that messes up the lawn care world. Because you got to you got to train some of these customers because they think, you know, they've been dealing with some low ballers that the quality work you bring in, you ain't going to be you can't pay for this price for low baller uh, status. No, nah, this is quality work. I know I'm getting off the subject. It, it just drives me nuts because uh, you got a, a bunch of low ballers out here and and, and they, they driving down the business because you got customers thinking that, oh, Twenty dollars is what is the normal for a yard? No, no, it's not. Maybe for a little kid to be walking down the street and earning a little bit of money, you know, to buy some bubble gum. Uh, but not for a business like L and L Lawn Service. No way, no way. So get them prices up. I'm trying to get my prices up. I'm trying to keep them so they can you can have a standard where. Anybody that won't lawn care, they know that they paying for quality and this is the price. You paying 45 to 50 on up, you know. Uh, that's just the way it is. So you got to bump up the price. No low ballers out there, man. Please. Anyway, back to the back to the subject. Back to the subject at hand. I'm trying to to use this cargo carrier for my lawnmower. Now I have a 30 inch Toro commercial. So I brought a cargo carrier but man the, the, the Toro is still too big for it. You know I tried to modify it a little bit cut it. I didn't want to do too much cutting because then I would just ruin the cargo carrier and I could still use it for another purpose so I went out and pulled out 
the Craftsman 28 inch lawnmower that I used to use. So I pulled that out and now I am, I put that on there to see what it looks like. I put a 22 inch lawnmower on there. A 22 can fit in it all day. Uh, the 28 inch, and I'll show you guys in a few seconds. The 28 inch um, uh, Craftsman uh, that I had, you can look me up. Uh, uh, videos back in the day when I first started, I had brought uh, bought that, and it worked pretty good until I got my uh, 30 inch uh, Toro Time Master, and I started using that for a while. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys what it looked like. Now, before I do that, here's the situation. I had a I got a client. I don't do too many push yards. I don't I don't push them all, but occasionally you will have to. I mean, you can get away from it completely and just not deal with yards like that you have to push mow, but occasionally you have to push mow because I got a couple of customers here and there. You tell them, hey, you can't cut when it's wet, but they still want to cut. So I don't put the, the, the zero turn on it because it's too heavy. So I'll break out the the um, the 30 inch Toro Master Time Master because it's 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 not to have now don't get it twisted that Toro Time Master commercial uh, is like almost 200 pounds so that's kind of heavy for a lawnmower too you know what I mean so uh, all in all but it's not gonna tear up your grass like the like a zero turn how heavy that is they're about 600 700 pounds 800 uh, you get to sit down once they're a thousand fourteen hundred things like that you get to the drift they're heavy so they tear up the grass put ruts in it so i have a customer that's probably like a five thousand dollar client he gives uh, uh, uh every time i go to his just just put it like that he's well worth it uh i do all the 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 the, the um i do aerate i mean not aeration but i do yeah i do his aeration overseeding leaf job bushes i do his cutting each week he's a weekly client uh, uh but the thing about it is he wants me to cut it and bag it so but he has like all his garbage cans lined up so when i cut it i dump the clippings into his garbage he takes care of the clippings but i cut them every week so every week Every time I leave his property, a hundred dollars. Now I take about forty to forty-five minutes to cut his yard. I mean that's that's on a that's on a good day, you know, unless the sun is beating you up and you got to take a break here and there. But still, it's well worth it. Plus, I do his mother-in-law's yards and uh, the 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 and and uh, uh, leaf jobs and things like that. So he's a forty-five to five thousand dollar client. So. This is why I'm trying to keep him on my roster. All right. But. Uh, but here, here, here's got, here you go, guys. Here's the cargo carrier that I got. Now, as you can see, it's in the front of the truck. So when I got the truck, you had an insert on there that I could, you know, uh, put an attachment to it just like you would do in the back where you could put a um, you could put a right here see that right there it came with it, it came attached to this I don't know if they welded on there or if they come like that I don't know but it's an attachment so I figured that I would utilize this and uh, use this to my advantage because one thing about it is I cannot get a lawnmower when I put my 36 inch and my 52 inch in the back of the truck there's no more space none now they got this up here where you can put a 22 inch lawnmower up here right up here you can put a 22 inch lawnmower up there if you wanted to but I figured that I'll utilize this this thing holds about 500 pounds this cart cargo cart holds about 500 pounds it says 
and you can put anything on here you know basically just wrap tie it down and you can put anything on there you can put mulch on there grass seed fertilizer you could do that even though I got like the rack the, the racks up at the top of here you can put it down here you know just, just gives you a little bit more space so I got the insert I'm gonna utilize it so I figured that I could put a lawnmower here just in case just in case but this was intentionally for the 30 the 30 inch Toro Time Master but it doesn't fit so if you guys know a cargo carry out there that will fit the 36 the 32 no the 30 inch Toro Time Master man shoot me a, a shoot me a just put it in the comments like if there's one out there that 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 will fit the 30 inch Toro Time Master commercial push more because if they do have one I can switch this one out and buy that one but that's that was my intentions but it didn't work so this is the next option the 28 inch uh, craftsman I don't know how good is it gonna how good it how how good it's gonna do but I might as well use it I got it so but the thing is he still wants his bag and this thing when I got it it came with it. I should have got it when I when I when I got it, but at the time the funds was low. Uh, this was probably like a seven hundred dollar lawnmower, and then they they wanted you to buy the uh, the bagger system, which was an extra two hundred dollars or two fifty or something like that. Which at the time I just didn't get it. I just got the lawnmower. So, and then when I tried to order it, they were out of stock. You know, Sears went under blah 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 you know the rest so uh so yeah that's what i'm dealing with right now uh but hopefully this will work out like i say you can put your power wash on there you know fertilizer extra i don't know you can put extra uh just extra whatever on there i don't know you pick but yeah guys that's 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 my time so like, subscribe, leave your comment, hit that bell button, do whatever you got to do, but you better do it. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.